In Pinellas County, two children drowned in their neighbor's pool this week. A seven-year-old in Seminole Sunday night, and just last night, a two-year-old was found unresponsive in Palm Harbor. News Channel 8's Corey Davis joins us live now in that Palm Harbor neighborhood. And Corey, I understand a grandmother there desperately tried to save her grandson. Jen, good evening to you. Yeah, that grandmother performed CPR on her grandson at a neighbor's pool here on Wind Ridge Oak Drive. This is the Cinnamon Hill area of Palm Harbor, and tonight the family is just too heartbroken to speak about it. His toys are still scattered across the yard. Two-year-old Robert Kibalewski used to play here at his home on Sugar Bear Trail. I mean, it's a sad thing to hear about a two-year-old. Bob Elm works in the area and remembers Robert. Over riding his little toys and, you know, playing in the yard. Here's a view above the home from Eagle 8 HD. Pinellas County deputies tell us Robert somehow slipped away from his grandmother Wednesday evening and wandered a few doors down. His grandmother found him unresponsive, floating in a neighbor's pool. We heard all the emergency vehicles last night. Um, we were just praying for the best. People in the area are still processing what happened. No words. No words. The parents just have to turn their back for a minute on a child and they can disappear. And if you're not right on top of it, you'll lose them anywhere. Take a look at state laws eight on your side found for securing residential pools. Barriers should be at least four feet high. No gaps or openings are allowed where a young child could get through or climb over. Gates around the pool must open outward, away from the pool, and should be self-closing with the lock inside the gate. The main goal, preventing tragedies for families. This whole community, I'm um, sure, is just broken up. Back live here right now, deputies tell us this appears to be an accident, but this is still an ongoing investigation. Jen? Just awful, awful stories. Corey Davis, live in Palm Harbor. Thank you.